thinking about making the big move to Atlanta? There is more to this city than just Atlanta itself. Did you know that Metro Atlanta is made up of 29 counties, each with its own vibe and lifestyle? Hi, I'm Daphne Bousquet, your go-to realtor here on the south side of Atlanta. In today's video, we're diving into the nine things you must know before moving to Metro Atlanta. So let's dive in. We'll start by talking about just how big Metro Atlanta is. It's made up, uh, up of 29 counties and it's growing every day. But here's the thing, about 60% of the population, about 6 million people, is concentrated in just a handful of core counties, Fulton, Gwinnett, Cobb, and DeKalb. Each of these areas offers something unique from bustling city living in Fulton County to the sprawling family-friendly suburbs in Gwinnett and Cobb. And the city of Atlanta, it's spread out over two counties. About 90% of Atlanta is in Fulton County, while the remaining 10% is located in DeKalb County. And talking about Fulton County, that county is huge. It goes all the way from Fairburn in the south to Milton on the north end. Now let's break down the perimeter. If you hear locals talking about ITP and OTP, they're talking about whether you live inside the perimeter, which is the loop formed by I-285, or outside the perimeter. ITP areas like Midtown, Virginia Highland, and Decatur are more urban with higher population density, tons of nightlife, and walkable neighborhoods. If you love the city vibe, you'll likely be looking ITP. But if you're craving more space, maybe a yard for the kids or dogs, you'll want to check out OTP suburbs like El Ferretta, Peachtree City, Fayetteville, or Marietta. Fayette and Cobb counties in particular are popular with families due to great schools and more affordable housing. Three is traffic, and let's get real for a minute. Metro Atlanta is known for its traffic, and the joke is that Atlanta is an hour away from Atlanta. And I'm not even talking about Metro Atlanta. You can easily get stuck in traffic in Atlanta for an hour. And of course, the further out you live, the longer your commute will likely be. Traffic is especially bad on the north side, where the majority of the population lives. And it's only logical that the more people, the more traffic there is. And to be honest, there really isn't much of a rush hour anymore. So rush morning, rush afternoon, especially if there are crashes or they're working on the road, uh, you can be in for a long trip. And since they mainly work on the highways at night, you can get stuck in traffic really any time of day or night. So think of where you'll be working and where you'll be spending a lot of time and plan accordingly. Number four is diverse suburbs for every lifestyle. Now here uh, is where it gets exciting. Metro Atlanta offers a wide variety of neighborhoods and suburbs to fit every lifestyle. Whether you're after that family-friendly suburb experience in places like Peachtree City with its 100 miles of multi-use paths and everyone uses golf carts to get around, the artsy, eclectic vibe of the cater or the luxury lifestyle of Buckhead, there's a place for you. Each suburb has its own personality, and the right one depends on what you value most, whether it's proximity to work, school quality, or access to shopping and entertainment. One of my clients bought in Druid Hills and loves that he can walk to Emory University or Virginia Highland, so close to all the cute shops and restaurants. So which suburbs are you curious about? Let me know in the comments and I'll give you the inside scoop and check out this video about the pros and cons of living in Peachtree City. You'll get a good look at the golf cart lifestyle. Number five is cost of living. Metro Atlanta's cost of living can vary greatly depending on where you're looking. Areas inside the perimeter like Buckhead, Midtown tend to be pricier with higher rent and housing costs. And if you're looking for more affordable options, OTP suburbs like McDonough offer larger homes and more bang for your buck, especially if you're looking for family-sized properties. In fact, Union City and McDonough are now ranked among the fastest growing suburbs in the United States with median home prices under $500,000 in a recent report. 
Union City ranked fourth and McDonough ranked 18th. In growing areas like Gwinnett and Henry Counties, you can find affordable homes without sacrificing on amenities or school quality. Recently, I had a client looking in Fayetteville in Fayette County, but ended up buying in Noonan in Coweta County, just because they could get more home for their money, but still had access to great schools. Number six is the weather, hot summers, mild winters. One thing you'll experience no matter where you live in Metro Atlanta is the weather. The summers are brutal, they're sweltering, hot and humid. And that's from someone who lived in South Florida for 20 years. I was pregnant when my husband came to me and said, hey, I got a job offer, but it's in the Atlanta area. How do you feel about that? Well, I was five months pregnant and it was August and I was hot. So I said, let's go. But little did I know that the next August in Fayetteville, it was over a hundred degrees every single day without ocean breezes. And now as a realtor, when I show houses in summer, this is what I look like. Yeah, it's not pretty, so be warned. Winters though are mild compared to most places with only occasional snow or ice, which means that if we have a couple of snowflakes, the entire state shuts down. People do not know how to drive in snow and ice, especially since we do not have a whole lot of salt trucks here in the state. You may have heard of our snowmageddon that we had in 2014 when people got stuck on the highway for 24 hours. It was bad. Now, thankfully, that doesn't happen very often because like I said, our winters are generally mild. There are days where we have 70 degree weather and the next day we'll have 40 degree weather, so go figure. Number seven is job opportunities across the metro area are generally very good because Metro Atlanta is a major hub for job seekers. We've got tons of big employers, Coca-Cola, Home Depot, Delta Airlines, UPS, list goes on. And many of these companies are headquartered ITP, but some are have their corporate offices OTP in places like Binings. And no matter where you live, you'll find great job opportunities both inside and outside the perimeter. Number eight is outdoor activities and green spaces. If you love the outdoors, Metro Atlanta's got you covered. Whether you live inside the perimeter or outside the perimeter, you can hike up Kennesaw Mountain in Cobb County, walk the Beltline in the city, or enjoy the many parks and lakes in Fayette or Forsyth counties. There's no shortage of opportunities for outdoor fun, no matter where you live. Youth sports are also big, and with the U.S. soccer headquarters and training facility moving to Fayetteville, you know that will become even more popular. And nine schools matter for families. Let's talk about schools. Many people moving to Metro Atlanta are looking for top rated schools districts. And OTP cities like Alpharetta in Fulton County and Peachtree City in Fayette County are well known for their excellent public schools. But don't forget ITP options like Decatur and Buckhead, which also have highly rated schools. It is important to do your homework on school districts before deciding whether to move if you've got kids or plan to have in the future. I have a handy relocation guide you can download in the description with resources for you. So after hearing all of that, where do you see yourself? Are you leaning toward living ITP or OTP, north or south, full on urban or more rural? Let me know in the comments and I'd love to help you narrow down your search.